Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the videos, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right, we are getting right to it. The Utah Jazz continue their winning ways, winning three games in a row after a bad loss to the uh, Denver Nuggets. And uh, I'm slowly becoming a believer, man. <laughs> I'm there in first place, not yeah. just in the Western Conference, in the NBA. They got the LA Lakers by one game. Yeah. Um, they seem to be a complete team. Obviously, we know about the starters. Yeah. But I'm highly impressed with um, just watching them this week mm-hmm. against uh, Detroit. They played Charlotte. They also played, I'm forgetting the team, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Jordan Clarkson, man. Mm-hmm. He's averaging, what, 18 points? You believe in that? Roughly 39% behind the three point line. Hold on. He also leads the league in free throw percentage. Granted, he may not shoot as many as other people, but he, he meets the threshold. Yeah. So he's shooting 97% from the free throw line. So I'm going to ask you again. About that, that number so, 14. So far, he got it. Yeah. So far, he got it. Yeah. You're going to go back to last episode. Trade it's, it's important to state my boy that Kenny Smith. When we give out awards, yeah. when we speak of giving out awards, mm-hmm. it's hard to make that commitment, right? Because it's still early in the season. Some people don't feel like it's early in the season because they play maybe a quarter of the games, but a lot can happen in 50 games. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But as of right now, He's the sixth man of the year. I just gave the stats. He's averaging 18 points off the bench. I think he's playing less than 25 minutes a game. I've never seen him play like this. And I've seen him play with quite a few teams. Cleveland, yeah. L.A. And he's finally found his, yeah. he found his niche. Found that, his that long ball is, fo- is falling for sure. Yeah. And they're a complete team. Three games in a row. They, after winning, what, 11 straight? 10 or 11 straight? So they made, yeah. yeah. They, they, don't, they won. Out of the last 15 games, they won 14 games. In, in the NBA, that, that's a huge yeah. feat, yeah. I mean, they took a, a, a setback when they played Denver. That was, that was, they didn't show up. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they shooting went, went down. Yeah. They didn't show up for them that day. And that's the one thing that I, I'm not, I'm not too happy with, with Utah. They tend to constantly, everything with them is about jump shot. Everything is is it's all off, off the three. That's the new NBA, right? Yeah, I mean, Golden State really. Yeah. I mean, people talk about the uh, uh, teams that 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 actually change the NBA. That is not good because it's, it's across the league, mm-hmm. and Utah is one of those teams that that's doing it. Everything is about the three point shooting, and. When you live by the three, you die by the three. I really believe that. Yeah. You know? And it, when you watch them play, it, it's weird because it's not a bunch of forced three-point sh- uh, shots. There is almost as if they have to beat themselves. If the shot isn't falling, that's when the team has a chance, like any other team, to, to win. But they don't take contested threes too much. A lot of ball movement and – um they, the way they constructed the roster is a shootout out there all the time, probably with the exception of Gobert. Yeah, and, and, you know, that's the thing. I'm watching. I'm watching. Um, I was looking at some stats, mm-hmm. and I'm seeing how each month how their shooting is improving. Because it states here that um, in December, as a team, they shot 43.9%. Then in January, they shot 46.6% mm. from the field. And now here, early February, they're 50%. So they're advancing. That lets you know that they're getting better as a team. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so you, you this is the NBA. This is a 72-game series season this year. And, no, you're not going to win them all. So I was kind of disappointed in Utah. On the performance that they came up with with Denver, being that they just, I mean, lost the three-one deficit to them in the playoffs, they was up three-one, allowed them to come back. You got to make a statement in that game. 
But but you know what the issue is? What? what we always talk about this is a, a, a game of matchups. They just don't match up well with them. Joker is the wild card. They have, although Gobert, it, well, first of all, the way they started that game, Gobert wasn't defending him. And that was the mis- biggest I don't know. mistake. I think Quinn Snyder got in his own head because yeah. you allowed him to heat Time up to early. Yeah, yeah. And How that, you have the, the um, arguably one of the defensive players of the year in Gobert. You paid him this big contract. Mm-hmm. And and Gobert is not this great offensive player. He's known for defense. So you're going up against the Joker. The premier big man in the league. Uh, come on. Arguably, he could be the MVP was what, what they're saying. And you don't match up your best defensive player. Yeah, that, that was odd watching. It was I real odd. Like, I, I, don't, I, I can understand if they trying to they want him to get in foul trouble, but that's later on in the game. Let's mm-hmm. start off and not allow the Joker to get into it. I mean, he had a monster game yeah. that game. But he ended up with 40-something? 40 47, I believe. 40. The time to go. He could have had 50 if um, yeah, his coach didn't pull him. But yeah. that was the thing. It was as if you know, Utah that just didn't show up for that game. And I know there's, a, like you said, about matchups, but I watched it, man, in the, in the bubble. It's, it's not that big of a difference. Uh, they just didn't come to play. They 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 had one eleven straight. I know you can't win them all, but you don't you don't throw out bunkers like that. Mm-mm. You just don't. And that was the one disappointment that I have in Utah for this season. And other than that, I, and I, and right now they're starting a new street, new winning streak. Three up three. They I mean, like I, every week, I want to talk about what Utah is doing, good or bad. If they have a great week, we want to talk about it. If, if they have a, a bad week, we want to talk about it. Mediocre week, we want to talk about it. All right, that sounds good. I'm definitely down with that because it's good to have parity in the league. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, to see teams from – I'm tired of this whole small market uh, conversation as well because we've seen Utah excel, at least in my lifetime. I've, they've always been a great organization. Always. Yeah. It's not like they've came from – They've even when it was quote-unquote time to rebuild, Yeah, they were always there. I like, never, I never really – that's the thing about Utah. Drafting. That's that's what what great organizations do, and to me, Utah is right up there with those great organizations like San Antonio mm-hmm. and all of because they're never their real building years is is never disasters. You know, like mm. the New York Knicks and all and all these teams that have been almost a decade of not competing. Utah they, they, and their fans deserve that. They do. Yeah, they, they deserve do. that. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And we appreciate your fans out there, too, because uh, the last video we dropped maybe a week ago concerning the Utah Jazz, heavy support. I mean, yes. maybe 1.5. Uh, they, yeah. they love their team. They love their team. And and, and and that's this just they love their team just as hard as I love the NBA, mm-hmm. you know. And it it is that's why we had the discussion. And I said to you, we have to because they don't Utah. Don't get that much time and media, no. and and deservingly or not, they still just don't, they just don't get it. Then they're the, then they have the best record in the league, and everybody's talking about everybody else, other team, all these other teams, but nobody's really mentioning Utah as if like it's a fluke, and I don't believe it's a fluke. No, they, they get they people talk about them, mm-hmm. but but the difference is unlike other years. Yeah. Their style of play, for lack of a better term, is a little bit more sexy now. Remember, watching yeah. Utah before was kind of like it was boring, but it was effective. It was basketball. Though. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. People said the same thing about Stockton the Spurs. Malone. Yeah. Woo. Fundamentally pick sound. Pick and roll. Yes. Pick and roll. You did that. Can't stop and it. You can't stop it. Yeah. But most people don't enjoy that. You have to be a fan of the game to really because it's not it. to appreciate it yeah. yeah and this team here they added a different twist you know what i mean they mm-hmm. it's more perimeter um orientated but mm-hmm. it's effective and they have the right pieces in the right the right places yeah still early is, is it early in the season we'll say we, we we almost approaching the all-star break but they are still in first place and they're advancing each year i, I just mentioned how each month that they're, they're shooting better mm-hmm. you know and i mean Obviously, you can't shoot 50% forever, but at the same time, defensively, they're solid. Yeah. 
they have a, a solid bench mm -hmm. and they have they won't they don't have the biggest or the greatest athletes but iq yeah. that says a lot most teams out there if you're watching that speaks volumes but they do it as a team that's the it's, it's the nba is built of of 29 teams right mm. teams and it's not so as as much as we know that uh they can do the iso ball with um spider mitchell <laughs> spider -Man. i mean but that's not all that that they're about mm -hmm. they play they do it as a team and that's I, I guess that's what's attract me to them so much mm. is how they do it with a team and it's and it's been successful for them this year and i, I i'm looking forward to watching to see and ho and wishing the best for them yeah wishing the best for them i can rock with that yeah all right so this is team sports entertainment the podcast you heard it here you know what i mean once a week we're gonna give a utah jazz update yes once a week we're here tune in um i'm earl Tima. once again this is my big young alan Tima. But before we leave, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment below. What do you think about the Utah Jazz's play thus far? Are you a believer in them going forward? I uh, am. Who is your favorite player on the team and why? And also, do you feel as though they can make it to the finals? Tell us why or why not. We just want engagement from you. Let us know. Utah fans out there, we will not forget you. We got you here at Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Yes, nobody else will. No doubt. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know Dream Teamers. Dream Teamers are our family, those who subscribe to the channel. That way you know when we upload new content and we up out of here. Y'all be good. NBA, it's the greatest thing on earth, baby. Y'all be good. Peace.